And we're now being joined live on Skype by Apostle Anselm Madubiko of the Revival Assembly, who just finished a large online service in the wake of the spread of COVID-19. Thank you for joining us, Reverend. In the wake of the spread of COVID-19, the Nigerian church has had to move from physical meetings of 50 to just pastors streaming almost solo online. How would you describe the switch from Christians in most states of the country? I think it's fantastic because um, now many pastors are reaching more. You know, the church is not a monument. The church is a movement. And uh, the movement is what God is And uh, nothing, nothing will stop it. Uh, you're a bishop of, of a large congregation. How easy has this been for you adjusting to this lockdown? Well, we have to... It's condition that made the condition <laughs> I'm, I meet my people, but it, it's wonderful because some of them are connected compared to the network, compared to Facebook and Instagram. And yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to say this. How do you react to some other clergymen who defied government order despite the cessation and lockdown order? What's your reaction to, to those people? Well, they must have their reasons. I believe we should, we should obey the government power according to the purpose. We should never fight the government. Um, we should basically abide the law of the citizens. So I, I don't know what they have, why they think they should so be one. Now, now Reverend, all is well. yes. Now, Reverend, in the light of Romans 13, there, there were clear instructions of um, constituted authorities, especially that of government, as instituted by God. Now, do you think there could be any any justification, whatever reason they might have, to have defy government order in the light of Romans 13? No, the, the, like I said, there's no reason to. There's actually no reason to. We've not been stopped from preaching. We've we only stopped from congregating yeah. because of the... Uh, so, there's nothing wrong, you know, with that, as far as I'm going. But because I believe it's going to be us for a while. Uh, if I may ask you your own opinion, where, where do you see all of this leading us to? At the end of the day, when this blows over, where do you see this leading us to as a people, as a nation? Well, nothing works against us. So many things are going to go wrong, but eventually we'll, uh, by the grace of God, we'll, we'll bounce right back, you know. Um, this is not the best of the times, but tough times don't last. Tough people outlast the tough times. And God has told us so many, so many times in the Bible that he will never leave us, nor forsake us. So the important thing is the fact that we know that he's still with us, whether we're a pandemic or not. So I believe all will be to the glory of God. All right. Um, just, just as an ex extension of your service this morning online, um, if, you, if you will, maybe put out a word of encouragement and admonition to every Nigerian out there and to fellow clergymen, what would you say to them? Yes, guys. Nigerians, let's just keep over life. Jesus Christ is Lord, and he has made some powerful promises. He said, even if you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. If you pass through the fire, I'll be with you. The most important thing is the presence of God in all of this. We should be worried when God leaves us alone to fight our battle, but he will never do that. So let's hold on, let's be strong, let's know that nothing works against us. All things work together for our good because we love the Lord. So be strong and know that Jesus Christ has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, even unto the end of the age. So we have great promises in the word of God to hold on and to stand firm, believing that our faith is what it is. Jesus Christ is Lord. He has died for us. And the third day he rose from the dead. Right now, those that believe in him will not perish. So we're not going to perish. We'll overcome this thing. We'll be, we're stronger than it. We are stronger than the devil, than the Christ, than anybody coming against the church of Christ, which arise much more stronger. And at the end of it all, we'll see a bountiful harvest. We're going to see quite a lot of people now coming to Christ and give their lives to Jesus Christ. So it's, it's either way we win. We win. We win. And then your word, your word to the federal government, what do you expect them to do more in curtailing and uh, the spread of this virus? Uh, Help the poor, help those masses who, who don't have anywhere to, to go to, who don't have food to eat. Give them food, give them light, give them 
the basic amenities, you know, and let, let the soldiers and the policemen stop flogging people and stop beating up people. You know, people are just, it's a bad time. Some don't have anywhere, anywhere to go. Some don't even have homes, you know. So uh, let the government be, be sympathetic. Let them know that we're still human beings. Yeah, it's true for us to maintain the social distancing, but it can, we shouldn't kill people because they're not doing that. Absolutely. So government should please help people to pull it down. So is something, is take money from this. Well, you know, do something just to make people work. I want Apostle Ansel and Madhubiko, thank you very much for your time and for joining us. God bless you.